Welcome back, folks, to Let's Replay XCOM UFO Defense, and when last we left off, we changed our tactics up a little bit, relying more on auto shots and also getting a tank, and using some smoke grenades. This turned out to be very effective, and when we encountered a UFO and shot it down, we had a mission where we lost absolutely nobody. It was a very successful mission. We're going to uh, quickly alter things on the Sky Ranger, because Nico is now ready to uh, fight once more, so we don't need Shopkeeper, which means we don't need to manufacture a suit of personal armor for him. We're just going to let time advance. We have finished researching the Motion Scanner. It is a sophisticated device that uses a variety of detectors and advanced computer algorithms to identify moving enemy units. The gist of how they work is that you use them, much like how you'd use a medkit, and a little readout will appear. It will show an arrow as to which direction you're facing, north is always at the top, and flashing blobs will show units that have moved recently, and large units or fast moving units will produce larger blobs. Note that static units will not be detected, as it only detects motion. We could research many things right now, but we're going to focus on researching heavy lasers. Not necessarily because we want to actually use the heavy laser, it's because we want to use what is beyond the heavy laser. Not necessarily actually use them, but more sell them. We have finished manufacturing laser rifles, which is very important, because we're going to manufacture more of them. We're going to manufacture a lot more of them, as many as we can manufacture constantly, making a steady stream of profit, which I'm sure will counteract the negative that we have for having more scientists and more um, engineers. We're going to equip the Sky Ranger with the weapons that we have made, 10 laser rifles, and we're going to remove all but one of the laser pistols, because that laser pistol is for Angel, speaking of which we should probably actually remove one of the laser rifles, because she's not going to be using one of them. And now we just let time advance, and hopefully we will uh, have something happen that's not a terror mission. Not very likely, I know there's going to be a terror mission at some point. Nothing happening? We have detected a UFO. Problem? It's over there, and it is flying away. There's really not much point in trying to intercept it, but I'll certainly try. There we go, and it is gone. Let us return to base. There wasn't much we could do there. We'll let time continue to advance. And there is a large UFO. That large UFO is definitely a terror mission UFO, and it's flying down here. Since there aren't going to be any terror missions here, it's likely that there's going to be a terror mission in this region very soon and it's likely going to be in the dark, unless we can do something about that. But never mind that, it's time for the monthly report, and we got a 150 positive rating, which is good. We gained more money, because the Council of Funding Nations is generally satisfied with our progress. Most of the nations decided to increase their funding, except Russia and Brazil, which decided to reduce their funding. XCOM agents have located an alien base in Siberia. This is something that can happen. If you don't detect a base, there is a chance that XCOM agents will discover the location of them. We want to take that base out, because not only is that base providing a constant positive score for the aliens, if it persists for a month, but also there are numerous um, flying saucers that- ooh. Okay, we have a terror mission, and it's at night. But if we wait a little bit, we may be able to send out the Sky Ranger in such a way that it will be daytime when we appear. Let us send it out now. And hopefully, by the time we get there, it will be daytime. As long as we're sending out the Sky Ranger, we should be okay. It's very touch and go sometimes, but we should be fine. And fine we are! Let us land at the Terra site the second terror site that we've encountered. I don't want to land there, but we don't really have much choice. We do not need these uh, electro flares, but we do need these rifles. Barry also uh, does not need an electro flare. I'm not going to put these uh, out immediately into our hand because we have the tank to cushion some fire for us. I'm also going to give Angel a third rocket and this pistol. She does have the ability to carry all of that, which is good. We're going to give you a uh, rifle, and we're going to uh, put that there. We're also going to give you a medkit. Everyone is going to have a medkit if they can hold on to one. 
There we go, you can have one. Carry capacity is only just capable of holding all of that. You're going to have this, and... Do we want to give you a... Maybe we do want to give you a smoke grenade. It might help to give you a smoke grenade. It might help to give everyone a smoke grenade. Everyone that can carry one, of course. Except for Angel. There's no real need for her to carry one. We'll give you that, and this. Your weight capacity is actually quite good. We'll give you that, and this. And then we'll give you that, and this. And lastly, Master Chief, you get that, and you get this. Off we go! How terrible is this going to be? Well, fortunately we have the tank to cushion a lot of initial fire. So let's send the tank out, and immediately find a Reaper. That's not necessarily the best thing to see, but it's also not the worst, because that means we are not encountering snake men. Trust me, we do not want to encounter snake men. Let us uh, move the tank out a bit more, I think over to say here, because we want to uh, draw a lot of fire with the tank. We'll also turn the tank in this direction. What we want to do is we want to get some of our soldiers ready to fire at this Reaper. Here we go. You can shoot from there. I could get you to shoot from there. And in fact, I will get you to shoot from there. It is time to auto shot with 31% accuracy. Let's hope this works. Engage the pew pews! That was a miss. That was a miss. That was also a miss. Can you fire again? You can. Let's let you fire again. One hit. And that wasn't very impressive. We could have you, uh moved out of the Sky Ranger, but actually I think right now I just want to move you up, Sub-Zero. And a little bit further. You can now see the Reaper. Let us now have you shoot! Your accuracy is actually lower than Barry's. That is one miss. That is one miss. That is a hit! Not bad. And we'll have you fire again. That was less than impressive. More worryingly, we're going to have to uh, move you away, or move you away, so that we can have people uh, fire at that Reaper. We could have you move to here, because we know that we're in a corner, and being in a corner means that we're relatively safe. I just want you to move back right now. Move back as far as you can. That is as far as you can move. That is fine. Dr. Grant, time for you to take a shot or two. Hopefully, you will be more successful. One Reaper defeated. Not bad at all. What we actually want to do right now is we just want to wait. We could have you uh, take a peek outside and see what you can see. That might not be a bad idea. There are no, for instance, aliens over here. Well, we can't see them, so we're just going to move back in. We actually can't move back in, so we'll just have you crouch, and now you can see. Hopefully, we'll be able to draw some fire with the tank. We're not going to do much else right now, we're just going to wait and see what happens. There's fire there. There is a floater that took a shot at the tank. There are some shots over there that we could see as well. So we have a floater that we could shoot, and we also have another floater that we know the rough look- Ooh, and there's a reaper there, and there is a floater over there. The reaper is slowly advancing. It's safe to say that we're in a bit of bother, but not the worst situation that we could possibly be in. Not the worst situation at all. We could take a shot, we have a 69% chance of hitting, but if we miss, it's going to be pretty bad. Alright, what else could we do? We could, you can see the Reaper, we could just have you start shooting at the Reaper. We also know that there is a floater somewhere over here, there is another one over here somewhere. You appearing is a bit of a problem but nothing that we can't handle. I'm a little worried that you're going to take a reaction shot when I move Barry, but we're gonna have to move you. Turning is actually sufficient. Excellent. We could have you just take some shots. One hit, and two hits, not bad. Can we get a third? Excellent, the Reaper is gone. And now I want to move you over to here, so that you are protected from that floater. We have dealt with one threat. We could actually turn you around and have you deal with another threat. I think you may have to stand up for that, though. Let's see if you can actually just take a shot at this, uh, floater. You can! And that was a fine hit indeed. Unfortunately, you didn't actually defeat the floater. Let's see if you can do that again. That is a resounding 
Yes, you can. Well done, Dr. Grant. Can you get over to there? Maybe you can not get over to there. Unfortunate. Could we move the tank over to here and distract the fire of the floater? I think we could. We can see an enemy. There is an enemy up there. The enemy that I thought was down here. We could take a shot at 69% chance, and we're going to. A nice shot indeed. One floater taken care of. Excellent. What we want to do now is we definitely want to, uh, ready a smoke grenade or two. Just so that we can, uh, make sure that the uh, soldiers here do not get shot at. We're going to move out to, uh, let's see. We could actually put you out here. It's probably better that we have you move over to here, though. Just so that it's a little bit difficult for uh, somebody to uh, just take a shot at you. Unless, of course, they open the door. If they open the door, we're in a bit of bother. But I don't think there are any aliens in there. Think is the key word here, though. It's just really difficult to determine where you want to put your soldiers. We're going to take a risk. We're going to put the, uh, we're going to put Sub-Zero over here. We're going to move Sub-Zero over to this door. We can't see any aliens, but that is no indication that there aren't any aliens. And we know that there is at least one alien over here. So we're probably going to move the tank in that direction pretty soon. We're going to have to start moving out our various soldiers. We're going to move Angel out over here. Angel has the rocket launcher, and Angel is quite well suited to taking care of uh, any foes that we encounter. Who else can we move out? I think it's time to move Nico out. We can move Nico out to this corner. It's not a good idea if an alien just appears, but we do need to start moving out our troops. The personal armor is definitely very useful. It increases our survivability dramatically. All right, awesome possum. We're going to leave you here for now, just so that we can uh, take some shots at anyone that happens to come from this direction. We definitely want to take shots at people that come from this direction. We've taken out a few aliens already. There are still more. We've actually taken out four. Let's see how bad the end of this turn is. One dead civilian there. Another dead civilian there. There's definitely someone in that building over there. We can't see any- Oh, there's a civilian! We could potentially save those civilians. It's quite good that we try to save them. Is that another civilian? That is another civilian! Don't worry. You'll be safe if you stay with us. You really will be safe if you stay with us. There's something going on over here, though. Definitely something going on. So we're going to ready a snapshot, and we're going to move forward. We can't see any aliens, but that's no indication that there aren't any aliens. Because there is a dead body there, which signifies that somebody has been shooting somebody. We could open this door and see if there are any aliens over here. We could move round this corner and see if there are any aliens over there. Might be a good idea. We definitely want to provide some covering fire for these civilians. So we're going to uh, move a few soldiers out. We also need to move some people over here to cover our flank. The last thing we want to have happen is for somebody to try and flank us and we die. So let's uh, save some time for a snapshot, move over here, and wait. We definitely want to wait here. Okay, Nico, take a look around the corner. No aliens that you can see, but that is no indication that there aren't aliens nearby. So I want you to move over to... That is a dangerous idea. Moving over to there is actually really dangerous. We just want to make, like, a run over to this building. But we really can't, because there isn't enough, uh... There definitely isn't enough time for us to do that. We could move into this building, see if there are any uh, people in this building that we need to take care of. And we might actually do that. But we probably want to open the door with somebody else. Like Awesome Possum, for instance. Open the door, see if there are any aliens in here. The answer is no. Good thing that we checked. Let us have you move over to here so that there are enough... Uh... Nope, definitely want you to move, Awesome Possum. There we go. Not bad. We'll have you move over to here ready. There could be aliens up on the second floor of this building, although the second floor of this building is not that big. You'll notice that that door opened. It was likely this civilian that uh, was running for cover quite desperately. 
We'll have Angel move over here. We're going to start heading in this direction. We're going to have you most certainly crouch. Because if anybody is going to try and shoot you, I want them to have as little chance as possible of managing to succeed. We need to move the rest of the soldiers out. We need to move Deacon out. I think Deacon needs to move over to here. We then need to move, let's see. We need to move Sadwick out, most certainly. We could actually start moving behind the tank. Problem is, is there's not really much cover nearby. We'll just have you move over here for now. Just use this building as cover. If any more aliens come from that corner, we actually need to get ready for aliens coming around from that corner, don't we? We definitely do. Definitely do. So let's actually move you over to here, and you can have a look. I don't think there are any aliens there. Always pays to be sure. Alright, we'll have you move over here, and we'll have you move over here. If anybody tries to take a shot, you two can certainly try and uh, shoot them. It's probably a bad idea to keep you here, though. I'll put you here instead, just to get a little bit of cover from anybody shooting in this direction. This is as good a turn as I think we're going to get, so let's end the turn and see what happens. Fire over there. Fire from there. So we know there is an alien further up. There's definitely an alien over there, wherever there is. And the civilians will run for cover. Sensible idea going that way. A civilian on the roof? You're in serious trouble. There's also a civilian over there. I think this civilian has, uh, ran into the building. Probably quite sensible. We can see a floater. There is a floater right there. You have a good shot. I think it's probably worth you taking that shot, to be honest. Just to see if we can take out this floater. 69% chance, go for it! That didn't go so well. Fortunately, it does mean that we have opened up a massive amount of room to shoot this floater. So we're most certainly going to try and shoot that floater. Let's see, let's see if Master Chief can get a few shots here. 23% accuracy. Not that great, not that great. Okay, you actually want to shoot over there, Master Chief. Not over here, over there. That's not good, that's not good. That's not good either. Suffice to say, you have not done so well there. Let's actually, uh, switch over to Gaston 2, and see if Gaston 2 can do any better. The answer is, well, that's one hit. Excellent! Well done, Gaston 2! A promotion very well earned. We're going to have you hide for the moment. And the civilian is still there, which is good. There's a civilian in here as well. I actually want to have a quick look over here and see if there are any aliens nearby. No, no there aren't, which is good. And now it's time for you to move back over here. The fact that it is daytime means that we have so much more visibility compared to uh, the last terror mission when it was at night. We could move over here. Is it a smart idea? We're going to have to move out eventually, otherwise all of these civilians are going to die. And we really don't want the civilians to die. We could move the tank a bit more. Probably actually a good idea to move the tank a bit more. That floater probably killed a fair few civilians. Now, we could move over to here. Doesn't seem like a bad idea. Alright, Nico, move over there and see if you can see any aliens. You can't see any aliens at present. And if anybody tries to shoot you, they're probably going to hit the civilian first. Not what I want them to hit the civilian. Over here is just really bad, though. We could use the tank as cover, but to be honest, I think using this uh, hedge as cover is a better idea. We need to uh, bridge the gap here, as it were. Angel, time for you to move as well. Be very careful. Very careful indeed. We need to, uh, most certainly move people up so that they are ready to, uh, take some shots. There we go. You can do that. You need to move up here to the corner. We definitely need a lot of cover fire. And anyone else? Nobody is coming from this way. Also, that's a corner, so it's very unlikely there's going to be anybody else that, uh, will be, uh, coming from that direction. It may happen, though. It may happen. Stranger things have occurred. Okay, Dr. Grant, you move over here, and I want Awesome Possum to go with you. Definitely want Awesome Possum to go with you. Time for you to crouch. You're both crouched, that's good. 
what about you? I think you crouching is also a good idea. Is any of this going to work? Is this strategy going to pay off? I have no idea, but there is definitely room for the tank to move in this direction, which is what's going to happen. And when we come back, folks, hopefully we can actually save some civilians. And then we really have to think about going after that base that we found. Finding that base is good. It's also really bad, as you could understand, because uh, bases are full, absolutely full of aliens. That said, taking them out tends to confer quite a lot of points, and also a lot of resources. And so, when we come back, folks, continuing this terror mission, I haven't lost anyone yet! Famous last words I know. And I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.